So we get to finally talk about, I think, my favorite Android phone or one of my favorite Android phones that Google has ever made. And this was actually the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now, I love the Pixel lineup. I loved, absolutely loved the Nexus lineup. I used the Nexus 4 as my main device for almost two years. And with the Pixel lineup, I kind of like the original Pixel, but the Pixel 2 XL was one that stood out to me like crazy because it was just such a massive visual difference from, I think, the predecessors of any of the Nexus lineup from before, and that's including the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 6P. Now the 6P was pretty hard to beat to be honest, that was just one of the most premium feeling phones, but that had its own issues. And with the Nexus 6, I think it was just too big to be honest. With the Pixel 2 XL, this was a 6 inch phone as well in terms of the screen, but it was much easier to hold in the hand, and with it getting the newer updates, with it getting USB Type-C, it was just a beautiful phone that I actually loved. This phone also had some issues too, which we'll get into in a second, but also Ultimately, I love the Pixel 2 XL. I kind of, you know, would kind of recommend buying it and would kind of not recommend buying it. It's kind of in that middle ground, which I'll explain in a second, but I'll leave some other phones I recommend this year too. I'll leave them in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now, on the outside of the Pixel 2 XL, this phone on the front had a 6-inch P OLED display, and it was a 1440p panel. Now, much like the Pixel XL, the original one, I felt like this phone had a really good panel too. You know, there really wasn't too much to hate on it. I think it looked pretty good. You had the front facing speakers as well, which was really awesome, and that was just a nice touch. I feel like with the original Pixel and Pixel XL, had they put speakers on the front, that would have made a little bit more sense for the bezel, but this phone actually slimmed the bezels down by quite a bit, and they actually put a speaker on it on the front too, which was really cool. So you end up getting, you know, more features on this phone and much less bezel, which was awesome. And even now, when I hold this phone, it still looks and performs very, very well. So I have very few things to complain about this phone, and that's sense. Now you also have USB Type-C port on this phone as well, which is always really good to see. You had the aluminum frame on this device, which was awesome. And on the back, you had this kind of like polycarbonate glass back. Apparently it was an aluminum back, but it felt a little bit different. And, and Google has always made the back of their phones a little weird. With the Pixel 6, they kind of fixed it now. But it's always been this weird type of hybrid type of thing that they do, which is really funny. But I do think it's pretty decent. You know, there was no wireless charging, but you did have fast charging, which was cool. There was also IP certification as well. And overall, I think the build quality of this phone wasn't this phone strong suit it wasn't the worst thing about this phone obviously it still feels and looks pretty good but I don't think people were picking up this phone because of oh my god it feels so great or anything like that but I do think people were really liking this phone because it looked good it was a good looking phone for that time I mean 2017 you have to keep in mind phones like the iPhone 10 came out this year I think the Galaxy S8 Plus came out this year as well so it had some pretty big competition and although I think the iPhone 10 won that year the Pixel 2 XL was still one of my favorite phones of that year for sure so in terms of the outside that covers it up there now one of the biggest things about the pixel lineup was the camera people loved that camera on the pixel lineup and this thing had that single 12.2 megapixel wide angle lens and on the front it had an 8 megapixel lens now you can only do 1080p videos on the front you can do 4k videos on the back but here's the thing right the pixel lineup in general people loved it for the camera and i do think even up until 2017 people were saying that this phone probably had the best camera of that year if not the best then one of the best and i think that's just one of the strongest things about you know you know google they always focused on the camera quality at this point. Nowadays, they've kind of slipped behind because they've made some weird decisions. But I do think at this point, they didn't really throw more cameras on this thing. They just really wanted to have a solid single camera. Now, I think as Google's kind of learned their lesson because they started tipping away around Pixel 3 XL. So I think this was the last like perfect pixel that google released up until maybe even the pixel 5 or pixel 6 to be honest the pixel 5 was reaching a different audience the pixel 6 i think was reaching a different audience than the pixel 5 as well which was kind of funny the pixel 2 xl at that time i think had a pretty good camera but now i mean it just doesn't really have too many features when compared to something even like a pixel 6 or 6 pro you only have one lens on it you can only do 4k at 30 not 4k at 60 however 
A big thing to keep in mind is that a lot of Pixel devices cannot do 4K at 60 on the front. A lot of them cannot do that, which is still a disadvantage. So on one hand, like yes, that's an outdated thing for the Pixel 2 Excel to only shoot 1080p videos, but up until I think the Pixel 4 or 4a, we were not able to do 4K on the front, which was pretty crazy. So this phone is outdated there, but it's really not. Like it's kind of hard to explain, but I wouldn't really buy this phone anymore for the camera. But just keep in mind that this phone at that point had a great camera, and even now it probably still holds up very well so in terms of the camera standpoint that covers it up there now in terms of the actual software and longevity this was the reason why people were buying samsung this was the reason people were buying google phones they wanted that stock software experience and without a doubt i think this was one of the best things about google at that point the stock software that they had was amazing and i'm such a huge fan of that I think without a doubt, any type of thing you would go and do with the Pixel lineup in terms of software is amazing. Now, this thing started off with Android 8, it ended with Android 11, but it didn't really get any more software updates after that. We're on Android 12 right now, so you're a year behind. I don't think it's a crazy big deal, but it is one of those things to keep in mind again. Another thing to keep in mind is that there is a custom ROM community behind this thing. So if you wanted to, you can actually custom ROM and root this thing as well, and you can probably have a decent experience with it. Now, I wouldn't necessarily go and again buy this phone because of its software right now, but people were buying this phone because of the software at that point back in the day, and although it's not really worth it, anymore because of software. If you're willing to custom ROM it and root it and you know what you're doing, then it may not be a bad choice. So definitely keep that in mind. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. Now in terms of the actual performance of this phone, this device has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM on each model of it. Now, as I've mentioned before, with something like the Google Pixel 2 Excel, you don't really have a lot of craziness going within it. You know, you don't have a lot of, you know, background processes that are going crazy. You really don't have a lot of those things. So that's another really good thing about this type of phone. You don't really have to spend a lot of, you know, time managing the software with all that stuff in the background. So what I'll tell you is, is that in terms of the performance, especially now in 2022, I don't really think it's a bad performing device. You know, I think it actually is pretty smooth. And even compared to like a Galaxy S8 Plus that came Came out in 2020 that came out in 2017 as well i think this phone performs better than that device i think the iphone 10 again won that year i think that's still very smooth and still i mean the phone's still getting software updates and everything but the pixel 2 excel i think was pretty good for you know at that time for light type of apps for bigger intensive apps i think it gets the job done like i mentioned but do keep in mind that sooner than later it's going to start showing its age especially in that ram management portion with four gigabytes of ram compared to the more amount of ram that we have nowadays I Again, it just doesn't really make too much sense to buy this phone in that standpoint. I think it's still good if you don't plan on doing anything crazy with your phone. But again, it kind of comes down to the software. And with Android 13 coming out very soon, the software on this phone is going to start feeling a little bit older. And if you're not willing to custom ROM it, then you may feel like you have an older phone sooner than later. So in terms of performance, that covers it up there. Battery life-wise, this phone actually had a 3,520 mAh battery, which was one of the bigger size batteries at that moment as well. So again, when you're getting a phone like this, you may not be getting like the best performing phone or the best looking phone but this phone had pretty decent battery at that time and i do think even now it holds up pretty well my battery on my phone has degraded quite a bit but if you get a brand new pixel to excel for some reason then it's going to be pretty decent so in terms of that, that covers it up there. And to be honest, I think the Pixel 2 Excel, just like how I mentioned earlier, sits in a really weird spot. It's not extremely outdated in software. The older and older this phone gets in terms of software, it's not getting any more software updates. So you're going to be at a really weird situation if you plan on buying this phone and using it on an everyday basis. I think you're much, much better off buying something like a Pixel 4a or especially a Pixel 5a. Those are still very cheap phones now. The Pixel 2 Excel is you know, substantially cheaper in the used market, but you can buy a 4a or a 5a in the used market for a little bit cheaper now too. So I would recommend going that route. I think the Pixel 2 Excel is a great phone for what it brought and for how old it is and everything, but I'd probably recommend buying a Pixel 5a when it comes down to it. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.